Hello, in this video I recreated the Sith Grey Wolf boss fight from Dark Souls in Unreal Engine 5. To get started I needed a combat system. Luckily for me I had already built a combat system ages ago. In fact I have a whole series about making a combat series on my own website. The system covers everything from lock on targeting, enemy AI, attack combos, dodging and much more. In fact Many of my students in my course have used the framework to build their own combat systems for their own games, which you can see on the screen right now. If you'd like to learn how to create your own melee combat system from complete scratch and get access to all my current and future courses, make sure to check out the link in the description of the video. It covers everything. So now I had my main combat system. The main way that I handled damaging and attacking in this system is with the dynamic tree system. So whenever the player character is holding a weapon and they do their attacking animation, during specific frames of that animation, I have a trace which will turn on on the player character's weapon, which will be active for the specific duration that I want during that animation. If an enemy is hit whilst this trace is on, then they receive damage. So, with this I had the basic combat system. The next thing I needed to do was build the Sith boss fight. First I went on YouTube and I found this video which basically was a guide on how to beat Sith in Dark Souls. The reason I watched this video is because I wanted to know all of the attacks that Sif does. And it had four main attacks. The first one was a horizontal swing. Sif would swing her sword. This attack was normally quite easy to dodge and you could counter it by rolling out of the way. But if you're caught by this attack, it will knock you down. Next, Sif has a 360 sword spin. Sif will swing her sword in a full circle. Then we have the overhead swing. Sif gets back on her paws momentarily and swings her sword into the ground, dealing high damage in the process. And then finally we have the back flip. When you're fighting Sif, sometimes you'd go underneath her and attack her. Sif would recognize this sometimes and then do a back flip away to create some distance again. So we had all of the attacks. I then realized I actually probably don't have the skills or animations to create a wolf model and recreate all of these attacks. But I got lucky. I was just googling online for a Sith model and someone uploaded a crack of a Sith model from Dark Souls. I then decided I would download this and use it as it had some animations. I realized it didn't have all of the animations like the backflip but it had the 360 degree spin and the horizontal sword slash so I could make a kind of mini version of this boss fight. I imported the model into Unreal Engine and I got to work on a basic AI. So I already had the combat system, so the only thing I needed to do was kind of design a new behavior tree for Sif. So I designed it with some quite simple logic. When Sif spots the player, its health bar will appear on the screen, and then it'll move towards them and start trying to attack and kill the player. Initially, this was a bit easy because, like in the original fight, if you just got underneath Sif and you kept attacking, Mine was even worse, my Sif would just keep attacking even though you were underneath him and he wasn't really in the position where he could like damage you. And I didn't really have a backflip attack to make Sif go backwards. To fix this I added logic to Sif which will make him check the player's position after each attack. So if say Sif attacks you then you go underneath him and you're attacking him, instead of just standing there and attacking, Sif will walk backwards until he's in a position where he can attack you again and then he'll do that. With all these systems, I had Sif functioning. Next, I imported a Dark Souls character into Unreal Engine. This character was already rigged to the Unreal Engine skeleton, so I didn't have to really do that much animation retargeting. And since Unreal Engine 5.4, it's actually possible to retarget an entire character, even their animation blueprint, all of their animation montages, and so on. I made a whole video on it, I'll make sure it appears somewhere on the screen right now, but you can easily just retarget animations to characters in our Unreal Engine, they don't even need to be rigged to the same skeleton, so that's really good for workflow. Okay, with both the character and the wolf ready, I needed to have a proper environment for their battle. If you don't know, Fab gives away two free assets every two weeks, and I normally make sure to claim them. A while back, I think it must have been like a year ago, but I claimed this gothic castle pack, which would work perfect. It had a castle environment, which I think I'm going to try and recreate the Ornstein and Smog boss fight in, but that's for another day. And on the outside it also had this graveyard. And in the Dark Souls games, you fight Sif in like this graveyard type environment. 
so I just imported it and now I had my boss battle you can check out some of the gameplay here fair warning I don't think mine is as challenging as the original game my wolf is slightly less aggressive but I think it looks cool and still captures the vibe of it If you'd like to learn how to build a combat system like this from complete scratch in Unreal Engine, make sure to check out my Souls Like Combat series course. I cover all these systems in detail, plus you'll get access to all my current and future courses. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.